Hi, welcome to Programming by Zot YouTube channel. In this Python video series, I am going to talk about Python module named as URLlib2. Now, uh, URLlib2 is a module that mainly focuses on accessing and scrapping web pages from any URL. Now, you guys can further, you know, check out the source code of the web page using your Python scripts and a lot of other stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and quickly start our stuff. The first line you guys have to write as code is import URL lib2. That is going ahead and importing the library or module called URL lib2. Okay, now uh, dire is a function in Python in order to view the uh, you know functions within any module or any class uh, of you know Python. So uh, if I do a quick dire on URL lib2 module, what do I get? Here is a SSL. So uh, in order to connect to SSL or you know verify the SSL certificates, URL open to you know it is uh, clear from its name in order to open a URL of a web page. R E stands for regular expressions and a lot of other inter uh, interesting stuff. So. Uh, now let's go ahead and quickly create a script in order to print like facebook uh, from or let's visit google.com in order to print how many times we receive the google keyword in a web page so uh, first thing we are going to do is importing url2 then we are going to <coughs> get response of the web page url to dot url open and here the parameter that is nothing but google.com if we type pause dot read okay now uh, web page the response is going to be saved in response variable so uh, response contains the source code of you know google.com web page now uh, we want to you know count how many times or if there is any uh, keyword named as google in you know source code of web page <clears throat> so if response Google in response print URL is response dot you know else print anything i guess it is a little script in order to check you know something given in any url so uh, let's quickly you know execute it The name is lecture.py. Oops. Okay, little typo. And here it is. It's going to open. And response is not defined because it contains double S. str object has no attribute get url the reason is actually it has been saved inside this uh, let's quickly write here uh, covid and 
paste it here now let's quickly verify if our script is working fine <clears throat> and yeah i've got the url and yes it found google there so uh, this is how you guys can use url lib to module in order to you know you are uh, open urls and perform many other stuff you guys can add your own header print the headers like if you guys want to print the header uh, go ahead and simply headers. and quickly again run lecture.py Um, this is URL and cannot concatenate str and instance objects okay all right uh, we are going to you know request Request Dot And now I can simply write here the request Oops It's like request dot URL And uh, I hope it should work fine now else we will quickly verify what's the issue here so uh, I am going to you know call these three lines here in order to verify what actually is giving us an issue the response has been saved and uh, I need to you know check out if there is any info package there so a uh, request dot info and yeah i've got it i'm doing a quick tire on request in order to check out the headers there are the headers and if i put parenthesis as no call method okay let's quickly print them okay there i go they are like print request dot headers and now if i go ahead and print out them i should hopefully get you know all the headers and there are those headers cache control content type and a lot of other stuff you guys can you know see here so hope you guys have enjoyed learning this module thanks for watching 